Investigators say a woman whose body was found inside a burned out home in Sorrento was choked to death by her husband. Police say after the suspect killed his wife, he set their home on fire. And friends and relatives tell, relatives tell West 2 the wife had recently made a decision to ask for a divorce. West 2's Amanda Ober joins us live from the scene on Vine Street in Sorrento. Amanda. Wednesday afternoon, investigators found the body of Lizeth Valdez inside this burned out home. Not only do investigators now believe that this fire was intentionally set, but they believe it was done to cover up the fact that she had been strangled. An autopsy reveals 34 year old Lizeth Valdez died not from the fire that burned her home, but rather strangulation at the hands of her own husband, 47 year old Il Defonso Valdez. He's now in jail on charges of second degree murder. And I told my dad, I said, he, he killed her. You know, I said, I know he killed her. I said, I know she's in there. Rosalinda Pardo says Wednesday, neighbors saw Il Defonso Valdez come home around noon, and then they spotted flames coming from the house after he left. Firefighters discovered his wife's charred body in a bed. The fire marshal quickly determined the fire was arson after detecting accelerants in the house and on Il Defonso's shoes. Detectives say Il Defonso admitted he had argued with his wife over her decision to get a divorce, but he claimed. He then simply went back to work. A neighbor says when Il Defonso did return to the scene after the fire, he acted grief stricken. He, he acted like it was just a terrible accident. He, in, yeah, he just asked me, he said, don't, don't leave me alone, don't leave me alone. I said, well, okay, I got over there with him. You mean he was asking you to comfort him and yeah. not leave him alone? Yes, uh -huh, not, not leave him alone. By himself. The Valdezes had three daughters who were at school at the time of the fire. Rosalinda Pardo grew up across the street from the family and left white flowers in front of the house in honor of her friend's memory. Now, the Valdez's daughters are reportedly in the care of a relative tonight. As for Il Defonso Valdez, he appeared before a judge this morning and was ordered held in the Lake County Jail on no bond. Live in Sorrento in Lake County, Amanda Oberwesch, T News.